Hello again, I am returning with our elves being covered this episode. Once I unpause, they will come to our base and they will start wanting to trade with, with us. You can, uh, once the trader comes in the map, you can actually preemptively start putting stuff down. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's find where's our craft. Have I not made any? God damn, I haven't. Uh, oh well, I can still tell you about them, but I'm going to go ahead and assign crafts to be made because obviously I completely neglected to make them. Uh, but I'm not even going to bother the trade with the elves, but basically what they do is the kind of the worst traders in the game. They only bring wood things, uh, you know, wood craft. Sometimes they request that you stop cutting down trees if you cut down too many trees. And they're basically horrible, horrible human beings. Well, they're not humans, so they're elves. Uh, <clears throat> But they will go to war with you if you cut down too many trees, stuff like that, if you don't agree to what they say. Uh, oh, we're all out of flux. I'm going to go into that a little bit there, about into our flux. Uh, but yeah, our elves are nasty, and sadly we have to deal with them, because otherwise they will be uh, at war with us. Uh, as well as this, you cannot trade them wood. If you trade, try and trade them wood, even a wooden bin, which is used to store finished goods, they will be very, very frustrated. So I highly recommend you don't try and trade them a wooden bin. Or they will leave and they will reject anything that you give them. So, God, don't do that. Okay. Uh, but now we're quite done with elves, really. There's not a whole lot we can do with them. I mean, I could trade for some, some herbs and stuff, but, oh, actually, I do need some stuff. Ugh. Hmm, I can't really trade anything though, so I'm gonna try and survive. Let's see if I can kill anything. Wow, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this duck, kill a rooster. Uh, what else have we got? That's more or less it, actually. We've got a lot of uh, small baby animals at the minute. Yeah, but that should help us survive for a little bit longer. Let's check how our farm's going. Our farm's going quite fine, really. Uh, we're probably going to last our drink a little bit longer, but at the minute we do need to get some places with this. It would be nice to trade, but alas, we can't do that, sadly. So let's see if my yeah, my manager is fairly happy. He thinks his office is modest. He has quarters as well and a modest dining room. So he is a fairly happy man. I'm also going to designate this as being engraved. Uh, and obviously engraving is the next level after smoothing. So it's always a nice thing to do. It will make your dwarves a lot, that little bit more uh, happier with what they have. And I'd like to put down another bed uh, door rather here. And one thing I'm also actually going to do is I'm going to assign this place as my um, for my militia commander. Uh, and I need to make some extra bedrooms. In fact, I have way too few. Because being a militia commander is a hard job. Again, he's the noble and the expedition leader. He could be the baron in the future as well. He could be anything. Uh, making sure that they're comfortable and happy in a nice surrounding in a demanding job like this is very important. Uh, so as well as this, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, I'm going to start extending upon this. So just make ourselves some extra bedrooms. So let's see how I quite did them. So, oh, I've actually missed a bedroom there. Beyond me how I managed that. Apparently I did. So I'm just going to start adding all these. Because when you get your first big wave, it's important to relook at uh, how you, how much, how much food you need to produce, how much, how much uh, beds you need, lots of stuff like that. And we can also fit a nice little bed there and here, and then there, and not should more or less suffice. We do have quite a few beds at the minute, and we don't have that many dwarves. You know, if we, if we press Z for our start screen, we will see that we only have 37 dwarves. Not a huge amount. Uh, and obviously they did give us a warning before that we didn't have any flux. So I'm going to go ahead and look for a flux vein so I can mine it out. Ah, so here's a flux vein. So I'm just going to go ahead and mine this and, you know, it can also be used as a food storage. So it doesn't matter. Just so we can continue our production of good stuff such as uh, steel. Although the iron production won't be hollowed, so we're still getting places of it. But, you know, now we've got the flux back in in it so we can stop producing our pig iron again so i'm gonna go ahead and tell tell my dwarf to produce pig iron again and obviously now that we have pig iron and steel and fuel we can produce steel bars uh, so that's all good so i'm gonna go ahead and assign that to this other uh, furnace operator pig iron and steel and once we've got steel, we can get our weapons moving arm stiff to, to start crafting stuff in here. Obviously, I'm going to, well, not obviously, but I am going to start by making about f five, six weapons just so our dwarves can uh, actually get equipped with weapons. I feel it's more important than armor, and armor takes a lot more uh, bits to put together to make ourselves some armor. So we're doing pretty awfully for our meat, actually. 
In fact, let's see, how well protected is this elven caravan? Merchant, merchant. Uh, wow, they don't have anybody, that's cool. Okay, so one, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and save before I do anything though. But one pretty f cool thing you can do, uh, well, I haven't said, but you know, you can kill caravans. If you uh, if you want some food, you want all their stuff, feel free, you can kill them. Uh, but obviously some of them are more heavily guarded. And if you kill them, uh, although, you know, just one kill won't suffice to bring a war, if if the uh, if the head dwarves, wherever they come from, they say, hmm, we sent some elves there, and now they're dead. They probably killed them. Uh, if they look at that, then you know that's not good because they may or may not go to war first. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill these uh, elves because I hate them. Because we, you know, these guys are totally unarmed. Uh, they're basically entirely at our mercy. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill them all. So we'll kill various. Our military will now come out here and start destroying everything. Uh, this isn't hugely recommended because this is pretty, uh, pretty naughty to do. But it's something we're okay with. Uh, so now I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and remove the trade depot so that we could get all the stuff from here. Oh wait, no, everything's already been took, never mind. Uh, so yeah, now that this is all ours, as you can see, suddenly, oh, we've got loads of stuff. <laughs> because we just stole entirely from that caravan, and now our dwarves will all start bringing that stuff down. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, DBC this dropped stuff, because it's deny it's currently forbidden, because, you know, that would be dangerous otherwise. So we have lots of uh, fun stuff now. We also have some pissed off dwarves. Uh, elves are over. Like I said though, everybody hates elves and if you don't kill elves, you're, the, you're scum and you're, you're not a real dwarf. Uh, but you don't have to. <laughs> That's actually the first time I think I've killed an elven caravan. Never have I had such a huge need for uh, elven goods. Uh, but right now, you know, there's no harm and I have some nice crafts. But as well as that, I'm going to go ahead and expand upon our hall for our nice stuff in here. Because I need to add some extra room. Now we have a lot of stuff. Uh, and obviously with a lot of stuff comes a larger requirement for space so we will get down to that and as well as this we need to get down to doing this at the minute though our dwarves are quite happy we've got a nice engraved area here now if you look in here it will be very nice now modest well actually no it's more or less the same because his room isn't quite engraved yet but if we look at our militia commander he will say it's a decent office because it is quite it is it isn't huge it's okay, uh, it, but it's a great bedroom, for example, and a decent dining room, and two cabinets and one weapon rack. If I put some stuff in the bedroom, though, that would make him a lot happier. And once I've finished the griffin, uh, that will also help to make everybody a little bit happier. Obviously, if, if you know, as in real life, if you have a really, really nice bedroom, really nice house, you know, you'd be very happy. So as such, as you can see, our commander, Fidok, Fig Cod, rather, Quite happy man you know even though he's in combat uh, and that's kind of uh, you need to give your military a bit of a special treatment otherwise they won't be very happy at all and if you reason why he's no longer called Kalismir let's go check where he is so I can observe him so what is he called kid off Kiv. okay he should be down here Hammerdorf Hammerdorf where are you huh, I actually can't find him sorry about this I really want to find him though because I want to give you an example Fickod, here he is, he's an expedition leader. So let's look at him here. So, so if we go ahead and look at him here, uh, we can look, if we press K, we can have, go over and press Enter. Uh, and we can look at his relationships, you know, he's quite happy. He doesn't have a wife yet, it's too bad. Uh, but if we press K, we can see what he killed. So he killed a horse, the horse, and a yak bull, the yak bull. Uh, but noble kills for named creatures. Uh, it changes their name. They they get nicknames. So now he's he's Fickard Boltnose. That is a nickname, I suppose. So if you if you kill lots of stuff, you be a good military man. You get a different name, a cool name. And if you kill goblins, oh my god, you get some stupid, horrible goblin names. But uh, going into engravings, one thing that's pretty cool, like I said, is you can look at the engravings. Engraving the wall is a superiorly designed image of Eshtan Omen Gate, the dwarf and the dwarves by Cyril Ardusser. I can't remember who Cyril is, but I remember. Remember, it's a dwarf. My Eshtan Omnigate is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the appointment of the dwarf Eshtan Omnigate to the position of manager of the tombs of Kula in the mid arm of 12, 126. As, he, as I said, it's stupid how detailed it is. Oh my god, it's horrible. But that is something that's happened in the past. I did assign uh, Eshtan as my manager. Oh my god, it's like it's really real life. 
Uh, so that's pretty amazing, you know. Dwarves engraving walls with stuff that's happened in their past. It's very deep. Very cool. At least I think so. Uh, so let's see how much steel do we have at the minute. We don't have any here. In fact, one thing now that we do have a bookkeeper, we can actually check our stocks through the st stocks menu. So I can go ahead and look at uh, status and then stocks. So we can go ahead and go to, is it bar slash blocks? I'm not sure quite where it is in here. We have stones, cages. I'm gonna go page up down and go a little bit faster. Hmm, not quite sure where it is really. I'm sorry, but uh, I can't actually quite find it in here, so uh, we're just gonna have to suffice with that, sadly. Uh, but I know we've got a fair bit, and obviously I can manually press K and check over it. Now we also have a couple of blocks in there, which we're gonna use for our lovely wells. Oh, well, yeah, we don't really have any steel yet because we haven't really produced any yet. Uh, so that's one thing that we know. Oh, we do have some steel though. So now we do have some steel, and oh my god, we have all this from dead uh, elves. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start going to our metal smith, and I'm gonna start producing a few weapons out of steel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assign some. Obviously, I won't be able to fill all, fulfill all these, but I'm just gonna set these to repeat, uh, and you know I can get some nice kitting up going on. Also mined out a little bit of hematite here, but we're going to mainly use this for extended uh, stocks. So again, we have migrants, but we're doing great in this forest for the minute. No uh, silly mishaps. Let's see how big this wave is. It is a wave of a little bit less than 10. We have eight. Ow, my neck. Uh, pardon me. Uh, so we have a high master pot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give him masonry again. See if maybe it'd be nice if we've got some military dwarves here as well. Uh, in fact, I need a head medical dwarf. So I'm going to make this guy my head medical dwarf. I'm just going to call him, I don't know, Dub, just so I can remember, uh, to assign him. And we have a nice little miner here. I'm going to get a third miner for us. Spinner, more or less useless. Flatterer, that's uh, for training and stuff. Uh, trapper. I'm not really sure what trapper's in, but I know it's in killing animals and stuff. Uh, but we're, go we're just going to wait and give him that. And our last guy is good at everything. Oh my god, he is good. I'm just going to leave him with all of that. Uh, so that'll suffice for now. So in this part, I covered how to kill dwarves and steal everything from them, providing they don't have any military, which obviously they didn't, uh, and get away with it. Although we may or may not have got away with it. There may be repercussions. Elves could be knocking my door for siege at any time. So in the next part, I'm probably going to extend upon a... Uh, Extend upon this here bridge at the minute. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of came to a big halt, hasn't it? So I'm gonna go ahead and continue that in the next part, as well as that we're going to start kitting up our dwarves properly and getting places. Uh, perhaps go down to get our adamantite once we do have a little bit uh, well kit kit up dwarves. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please watch the next part if you are interested in what I just said. Uh, Maybe we'll kill more elves in future parts. It's a possibility. I like killing elves. I hope you guys like killing elves as much as I kill elves. Killing elves, rather. Uh, so thank you and goodbye.